Hello everyone, I wanna show you guys right now how to pollinate your passion flowers. Here's what you do. The first thing you do is you wanna identify the male and female parts of your flower. If you zoom in closely on this flower, you will see that it's very beautiful, obviously, but this part right here, this top part, this is the female receptacle where you want the pollen to land. And the pollen, the male, the male part of the plant, is right here. It's this yellow dust. And right here, I'm just gonna rub a little bit onto my finger like this. And if you zoom in on my finger, that's pollen right there. That is passion fruit pollen. And here's the thing about passion fruits. This pollen is actually best to be pollinated with another flower. So we're gonna walk over here, this little guy right here. Same type of plant, but here's the thing. This pollen is more likely to be accepted by this female receptacle since it's from a different flower. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the pollen and rub it right there, right there, right there. This is obviously the very um, basic way to do it. And um, a lot of people use paint brushes or you know, little cotton swabs, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the basic way to pollinate a passion fruit flower uh, and now this one is fully now what I'm gonna do now actually here's part two I'm gonna take this pollen with a different finger and pollinate that other flower and that's what you call you know two happy healthy passion fruits that will have ripened soon so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take the pollen on this one right here it's a little bit younger this flower so it doesn't have as much pollen but it's still producing pollen as you could see so I'm taking it like this I'm just mimicking the natural process that the bees do, that all the natural life cycle of our plants. So now with this pollen, I'm gonna go back to this flower. I'm gonna go back to the female receptacles and rub each of them just a little bit. One fun fact I wanna share with you guys is that each one of these pollen granules equals one seed. So as that pollen receptacle enters into the female part of the plant, goes down into the ovule, it turns into that seed. And that seed is inside the passion fruit. So the fruit is the area surrounding the seed, surrounding the seed, which um, there will be many of if you have a lot of pollen on your fingers. So that's the process. And as you can see, you know, it's still flowering, but what's gonna happen is it'll, the flower will eventually die off and you'll start seeing fruit. Happy gardening. As you can see, the flower dies off and then the ovule, the fruit, the female receptacles are still there, and what that and and now that after successful pollination, you see the fruit, which is going to slowly ripen for the next couple months and be ready towards the end of August.